Hi there, this tutorial is a Inkscape tutorial and it is looking into the um, the basic tools that are involved in the software to create um, Kenny from South Park on a cloud. Um, so, how do I do that? The b basic principle behind creating Kenny is um, about creating Kenny using layers and um, I'm going to work very quickly through this. I reckon I should be able to get this all done in about 10 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do, just to make sure that all my work is neat and tidy, is I'm going to go to View at the top and Grid. Right, now, as I said, I'm going to work in layers. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle. Um, I'm going to move my pre-made version of Kenny to the side here. And uh, I'm just going to have him there for reference. Um, now the first thing I'm going to do is obviously start with his head so what I'm going to do is just create a basic circle and I'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to just use uh, the dropper tool to get the colors in so I'm working a little quicker um, the dropper tool is second from the bottom um, so I'm just going to pick the color and I'm then going to change it to dark red um, that's going to act as kind of the outline for his hood and uh, his, his jumper and all that kind of stuff right now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control and D which duplicates the circle I'm then going to hold control and hit 9 um, two or three times um, that will then create that uh, outline this is going to be slightly thicker than the uh, than the original I'm going to go back to my colors uh, color picker and I'm just going to make it go orange right now as you can notice this is sort of like a an oval circle that uh, runs just behind his kind of uh, behind his eyes and where the hood opens up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that one again, uh, the orange circle. I'm going to hit, um, then going to hit nine uh, quite a few times. Um, probably I'd say maybe nine or ten times would be good. Um, and then I'm going to squish it. Uh, I squish it by holding down the top arrow and pull it downwards. Now, uh, obviously that doesn't look exactly right. So I'm going to nudge it with my keyboard up a couple of uh, couple of spaces and then I'm going to hit control and zero just to make it a little wider and then once again I'm just going to make it go dark red uh, I'm, you're probably imagining what I'm going to do to make that orange circle I'm, I'm just going to hit the control and D again to duplicate the shape and hit nine a couple of times uh, to make it uh, inset uh, hit orange and uh, at this moment in time I've got almost got his head finished now I'm going to start now building the uh, the inside of his hood or that view that you get um, and the way I do that um, is to go and get a rectangle get a rectangle and what normally happens when you create a rectangle in, in Inkscape is you get your uh, sort of nodes um, boxes turn up Now I'm just going to grab this top right hand uh, corner and I'm going to pull it down right to the middle so I get almost kind of get like this kind of sort of soft sausage shape and uh, like I did with this oval, I'm going to squish it a little bit, and it should keep the proportions of the uh, curved curved edge. Um, I'm just squeezing it out there so it's slightly wider, and uh, then I'm going to go back to my color tool dropper again, and I'm going to make it go dark red. Now, it is actually slightly offset from the uh, from from the like the main the main hood so uh, I'm just going to nudge it in with my direction uh, arrows on my keypad and uh, so it's sort of roughly in the middle and uh, I've now got sort of uh, the inside sorted out now what we're now going to work on is creating the this sort of I don't know how to describe it almost like an egg shape uh, which is going to be his face um, and the way I would normally do that is I would create a circle get a square and layer it over the top um, now my advice don't lay it dead on middle I'd probably go a little bit over the middle select both of the shapes that you've created go to path and intersection and that uh, so excuse me that's a lie go to path and difference and what that will then do is cut um, what you've covered up um, away now I'm going to create uh, create a, a duplicate of that so right click duplicate and hit H on the keypad so that will then give it a horizontal flip and then I'm just going to move that to in line um, to the other side 
select both the shapes, go to path, union to stick them together and then I'm going to get my color dropper and get the color of his face. Now I'm going to size him down so it's a try to get it as close to the uh, to the size of the hood as possible. Um, I may just nudge it up a little bit with my my keypad. So there we go. It's coming along, um, but now what I'm going to have to do is now create his eyeballs and that kind of this little sort of where you can only see part of the white circles um, is a little trick. So what we do is we're going to duplicate his face, pull that to the side, and I'm just going to make it go black. Now what I'm then going to do is create two fairly uh, regular circles. Again, just duplicate it, the first one that you've done, so you know they're the same size. And then I'm with Kenny's eyes, they're not separated, they do join slightly. So if you nudge them in a little bit with your left uh, direction key, and select both, and go to path and union to stick them together. Now what I'm going to do is go make them go light grey for now, so I can see them a little better, and I'm going to pull this tip of the face onto uh, a vertical line so I know that it's going to be definitely in the middle when I move the eyeballs in place. You can see the arrow is now in line with the vertical. Um, I'm now going to select both and this is where I start using the intersection tool. Um, I'm going to go to path and intersection and what that then does is create um, a shape where only the where the shape where the two shapes overlap. Um, I'm just going to make him say slightly off-white um, because I just want to make sure that I can see it a little better. Nudge it up with my direction uh, arrows on my keypad and then make it go dead white. Right, so I've got his eye, his, the, sort of, the main chunk of the eye sorted out. I just need to get some pupils in there. So that will be white initially, so just make it go black and duplicate it. So again, you've got a similar shape for the other pupil. Um, what you can do is just move them towards his eyes so that you can see him uh, with his pupils in place and move him towards the middle. And then, little trick, you've selected both the, 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 the pupils, hit control and nine a couple of times and that will make them go a little smaller so he looks that little bit more dazed and confused as Kenny does. Um, right, so we've almost got his, he uh, his head finished. A uh, good practice would be just to group it all so that you've got everything in place. And then we're just going to do is toggle down here. Um, the way I would do that is make it really massive so that you can put a tiny bit of detail into it first because we want to size it down afterwards. Go to your pen, uh, your draw calli calligraphic or brush strokes tool, which is just here, and uh, just create some sort of toggleish sort of shapes. Um, select all three go path and union. Now don't worry if it's not exactly the same because once you've sized it down you can't really tell the difference. Um, so when I move that into the middle and I might just hit control and zero a couple of times just to give it a bit more width and there's his head sorted out. Now um, I said it was going to probably the tutorial is going to be about 10 minutes I might be struggling on that so it might be a little bit longer but I'm going to go to object and group and get that all stuck together so it's not going to move around. I'm now going to start working on his body. Uh, the way I do that is I create a square and like before with that curved edge I'm going to pull a slightly wider um, uh, square together and just push it down so it's almost to a point where it's kind of it is almost like an egg. Um, now uh, the way to get it kind of more curved is um, that sort of curved edge that you get on Kenny's coat is just get an, a rectangle, uh, uh, sorry, an oval and pull it over that shape that you've created uh, make it a slightly different colour so that you can see what's going on and then we're going to go and create that, use that intersection tool again go path, intersection and then you've got that kind of body shape that we need for Kenny's coat now what I'm going to do is very get straight into action and get his uh, his colours right. Uh, I'm now going to duplicate it, bring it in again by going Control and 9 so we get that outline and make him go orange. Right, so um, to get that um, to get that the zip sorted out, um, all you need is a 
rectangle which you can make as thick as you like initially but what we're going to do is size it down once we've got it dead middle so as you can see I've just moved the shape to the invert like vertically uh, with the grid and all I'm going to do is go control and nine a couple of times to make it dead thin um, probably not that thin and then I'm just going to pull it down to there so it is in line um, with the, the hem of his jacket um, one more nudge and there we go right um, now we're going to work on his arms uh, the way I do that is I would just get it a rectangle this time rather than having the curved edge I'll get it right to the top so it is actually like a 90 degree square and this is something that we haven't done yet is I'm going to go to this second tool from the top edit pass by nodes hit that and then I'm going to hit the converted selected object to path um, so it actually allows me to be a to make that shape completely editable in terms of I can stretch it anywhere I want. Um, now I'm just going to move that in a couple of uh, notches um, to make it more kind of arm shape and then what I'm then going to do is cut a curve out of it so it looks a bit more like an armpit. Where I do that is get my oval over the top of it, go path and difference once again and now I've got to start off an arm. Now don't worry if you get this kind of like this corner here because it's going to hide under his hood. Um, I'm now going to move, go control and D, bring that in a couple of uh, notches and then make that go orange. I'm going to group it so it's all stuck together when I move it and then I'm going to position it over his coat. Right. Uh, control and D again, hit H to flip it and with you, if you hit your direction tool to the right it will move until you're happy with the positioning of his, his, his right arm or his left arm, however you're looking at him. Right, at the moment in time it does look like a sort of uncooked chicken so I'm going to just go object and group. Um, he still looks like a, a, an uncooked chicken but uh, I'm going to get a rectangle and this time once make sure that the corners are 90 degrees uh, hover it over the top hit page down on your keypad and that one stuck stick his legs just below um, um, again it's still looking quite like a chicken so I'm just going to go to object and group again which isn't really going to change things but now I'm going to do his hands uh, the way I do that just get two circles one big one small um, that is slightly too small, so just to size it down, hit control and 9 a couple of times. Nudge it to the right. Go path, union, and then I'm just going to change it to red. Size them down. Hit control D, H. So I've flipped it. and then move his hand in. Object and group to keep everything together and now I'm just going to position his head in the right place so that he's hit page down so it's right below. Um, he looks a little bit a bit too much like Cartman so I'm going to size his body down a little bit more and then bring it up slight, down slightly so you can see his hands Right, now, um, we're just going to finish with his feet, and um, this just needs to be, uh, you just need to be a bit careful with this. Create a uh, square that is two pixel, uh, so it's two squares in height, pull it right down to the middle. Um, and the reason you do that is because when you chop the square in half, you know it's going to be dead halved. So go path, difference, change it to black, and move his feet to the middle now he's a little bit wide his feet aren't normally that big so I'm just going to move it a little bit closer hit control and nine a couple of times that should size it down maybe not that and just nudge it in right and left right and there is almost Kenny I'm not going to do the cloud because uh, I won't have enough time I'm just going to object and group but I'm going to do is halo so create two circles that are or ovals hit control duplicate bring him in path difference 